Welcome to MATLAB Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain the MATLAB code for converting a color image to red channel image and after that, we will obtain that histogram of that particular image and next, we will go for gray image of 8 bits, resolution and quantized image and finally, we will go for a pseudo color image. To watch more MATLAB tutorials, Please subscribe to my channel Open Box Education. So first of all, I'm going to explain how we can obtain the results after execution of that particular code. After execution of this MATLAB code, we will get these results. So before going to explanation of this MATLAB code, here I'm giving that results so that you can understand this MATLAB code very easily. So here, this is the original color image. So this original color image is converted to a red channel image. So generally for a, a color image, we have three planes will be there. So those planes are red plane, green plane and the blue plane. So in this, we are getting that red plane that is nothing but we are calling this one as a, a red channel image. And after that, for this red channel image, we will obtain that uh, a histogram. And after that, we will obtain the a gray image of 8 bits that is nothing but each pixel will contain 8 bits and after that we will converting this gray image to of resolution 16 by 16 image that is here this is the a green image of 8 bits and this is the image of resolution 16 by 16 that is the converted version of that is from gray image 8 bits to resolution of 16 by 16 after that we will go for gray slice and next one, we'll convert this gray image 8 bits to quantized image with a, that is nothing but here we will use only two gray levels, that is 2 to the power of 2, that is equal to 4. So here, this is the quantized image of a, with a 4 bits. And next one is that a synthetic image. Generally, this image is used for computed tomography images, that is nothing but CT images. And next, finally, we'll go for a pseudo color image. So for this, I'm writing a MATLAB code so that you can understand very easily. So the first command is CLC. So here CLC is nothing but it clears all input and output from the command window display and it will use a clear screen. So after using CLC, you cannot use the scroll bar to see the history of functions, but you still can use the up arrow key to recall statements from the command history. So this is about that CLC that is the clear screen or we can say that clear command window. And next one the close all. So this close all deletes all figures whose handles are not hidden. So for this purpose here we will use this close all command. Now my image equal to I am read bird.jpg. So here the name I am taking that input image as bird.jpg. Here, this jpg representing that format of that particular image. And here, this im read command function is used to read the input image from the specified folder. So now, this bird.jpg is named as my image. So, in the place of my image, you can use any type of variable. So now, this is a, a color image of size. We don't know that size, but we are resizing that image to 256, 256. So here, this bird.jpg image will be resized to of size 256, 256. So for this one, we are using that MATLAB command function im resize. So this im resize function will use it to resize that particular image to any size of that you want. So here, this my image here bird.jpg we are considering as my image. So that can be converted into 256 comma 256 and here this nearest is used to round off that particular value so for this purpose we are using here nearest and here we are using subplot subplot 2 comma 4 comma 1 so when you're using this subplot here this first two will be two representing that uh, x direction and this four representing that uh, y direction and this one representing that position there is nothing but here we can represent this as subplot uh, here x comma y comma and that position so here this x direction representing that number of rows and in y direction representing the number of columns and p represents the, the position of that image 
so here from this subplot we have two rows will be there four columns and within that the position of this my color image is first position so like that we will represent that subplot and here the sub image my color image here it is my color image of three size 256 comma 256 so sub image my color image so title is original color image you will get so here uh, for doing this one for doing this one here the image position will be first position within the image that is within that results so next one is that axis of and the axis equal so axis equal sets the aspect ratio so the data units are the same in every direction for example that is the tick but the aspect ratio in that x and y and z axis is adjusted automatically according to the range of data units in the x comma y comma and z directions so axis image is the same as that axis equal except that of that plot box fits tightly around the data and next one is that uh, axis off so axis off uh, turn off all axis lines tick marks and labels so for this purpose we are using this axis off axis equal so when you are executing these instructions that is first second third fourth fifth instructions so here you will get that the original image like that original color image as uh, my color image of size 256 comma 256 so after executing this one you will get that image bird.gpj is read from that specified folder of size 256 comma 256 after resizing and next one here after doing this one here we have to get the red channel of that image so for getting that red channel of that image here we are using my red image this is the variable name you can use any variable like a x y z like that you can use any variable name so my red image is equal to my color image so here this is the my color image of we are using two columns here this is a one column this is one column and here we are using one so here this column representing that for all rows this first column representing that for all rows and for all columns in the first image plane that is nothing but this uh, one representing that first image plane so generally the first image plane is a, a red channel image so that is why here we are presenting for all rows for all columns but the first image plane that is nothing but red channel image so when you're using this command here you will get that red channel image of uh, a particular color image here we are using uh, here you are using uh, my color image of size 256 comma 256 so next one is that a subplot 2 comma 4 comma 2 so here already we discussed that is two rows four columns and position of this my, my color image that is nothing but my red image uh, at the position of two and uh, here this sub image representing that particular image generally uh, when you're doing this matlab code in the place of sub image you can use im show also that is image show so that the image will be appeared after execution of that code so here that uh, title of this image is given as a red channel so already we discussed about that axis of and axis equal so off by executing these instructions here you will get that the red channel image like this so this is the original color image so this has three planes red blue green and in that we are taking that the first plane there is nothing but red color plane so here we'll get that red channel of this particular original image and next one here we have to get that histogram of this red channel image so for getting that histogram of that red channel image here we have to use im hist so when you're using im hist of my red image then we'll get that this red channel image histogram generally im hist of the image name what you are using so this will be automatically takes the uh, scale automatically that is the scale here we are representing 0 to 255 automatically it will consider so this is the red channel image histogram and here we are using axis of and axis equal so that you will get that image uh, with the same scale and next one here we have to convert this color image to gray image 
after converting this color image to gray image we have to make this image to gray image of 8 bits that is each pixel will contain 8 bits so for this one here we are using a command matlab command that is rgb to gray so when you're using this command this matlab function will convert that color image to gray image so here we are taking that uh, my color image this my color image is a of size uh, 256 comma 256 so here we are considering that my color image of size 256 comma 256 that will be converted into gray image so here we are using subplot 2 comma 4 comma 4 so two rows four columns and position of this image is a fourth position and now sub image or we can use im that is show we can use so in the place of sub image we can use im show of this image so we'll get uh, after execution of that image we'll get that output image so here this unit h is very important that is uh, which will convert which will convert that image to gray image of 8 bits so for this purpose we are using here unit h so here this is the my gray image what you are convert that uh, color image to gray image of size 256 comma 256 so when you're using this matlab function unit 8 so generally this unit 8 uh, 8 bit unsigned integer arrays so generally when you're going for this unit 8 uh, matlab function so which will use it to store as one byte unsigned integers so for that purpose here we are using this unit 8 that is that gray image within that we have a pixel that pixel have the value that is that pixel can be stored by a, a byte simply we can say that 8 bits so like that we'll convert that image into gray image of 8 bits so here we got that image and each pixel has a, a, a each pixel will be stored with a 8 bits so like that we'll represent this is a gray image of 8 bits and the title of the image is gray image of 8 bits so here we'll get that gray image of 8 bits like this and already we discussed about axis of and axis equal and next one we are going for a resolution of that particular image so here we are reducing the resolution of that image to 16 by 16 so here we are using my reduced resolution image this is the variable name you can take any type of variable so that equal to image resize of image resize my resu reducing image comma 1 by 16 so when you are doing this one here the resolution of the image will be divided by 16 so that you will get that reduced image and we are using this image resize here so image resize to 16 by and next one is that subplot 2 comma 4 comma 5 so here this is the two rows four column and uh, the position of this uh, resized image of resolution 16 by 16 so here this is the fifth position and sub image or i am sure you can use here so my reduced resolution image and title is we are given as a resolution now 16 by 16 and after that axis of and axis equal so for this one we'll get that output result as a resolution now 16 by 16 so here this is the 256 by 256 image and that 256 comma 256 image is converted to gray image as a 8 bit image and that will be divided by 1 by 16 so that you will get that reduced resolution and it will be resized to 16 by 16 so here like that we will convert that 256 comma 256 image to 16 by 16 resolution and next one here quantized image we have to convert that uh, uh, gray image to quantized image so for this we are using a gray slice so this gray slice convert grayscale image to indexed image using multi-level thresholding so by using this gray slice which converts a grayscale image to indexed image using multi-level thresholding so here this gray slice is representing that here that thresholding level is so that is why the thresholding level 2 is nothing but 2 to the power of 2 equal to here you will get that 4 so that quantized image you will get a with a, a 4 bits for this one we are representing title as quantized image with 4 bits so like this we will use uh, this gray slice uh, matlab command and here this is the subplot so 2 comma 4 comma 6 so 2 rows 4 columns and uh, 
sixth position of the is uh, quantized image with the four bits and uh, next one axis of and axis equal and next one is here we are going for an image that is the computed tomography image so generally this computed tomography images are reconstructed by using back projections so for that uh, to enhance that particular computer tomography images here we will use a matlab command that is a phantom this phantom matlab command generates an image of a head phantom that can be used to test the numerical accuracy of radon and irradon or other two dimensional reconstruction algorithms generally this here p is a, a grayscale image that consists of one large ellipse representing that brain containing several smaller ellipses representing features in the brain and this modified shape lagoon will specify the type of head phantom to generate and here this 64 specifies the number of rows and columns in that phantom image so for this purpose we will use this matlab command phantom and uh, sub image p this represents that uh, uh, this synthetic image we will call this one as a synthetic image of a computer tomography so that will be represented as sub image p and uh, title as synthetic image and after that uh, sub plot 2 comma 4 comma 7 this is the seventh position in two rows and uh, four columns and uh, axis of and axis equal and last one is that uh, pseudo color image processing we are doing so for that we are using a color map so here this color map matlab command which is used to uh, map the colors to the indexed image so here uh, this uh, quantized image generally we can call it as a indexed image so for this indexed image here we will map the colors so for that here we are using a matlab command that is a jet nothing but we'll call jet color map array so here this jet returns the z color map as a three column array with the same number of rows as the color map for the current figure nothing but here i will show that image so that you can understand easily so here uh, here we are using that value 256 when you are executing this instruction then you will get that the pseudo color image as like this so we'll call this as a color map of that particular gray image so here sub plot 2 comma 4 comma 8 there is the image of the position 8 within the two rows and four columns so here we are using the sub image or i am show there is a my gray image comma color map of z256 that is here we are representing that number of colors from 1 to 256 and the title of the image is given as a pseudo color image and finally here axis of and axis equal so this axis of and axis equal set the aspect ratio so that the data units are in the same in the every direction and the aspect ratio of in the x and y and z directions is adjusted automatically according to the range of the data units in the x y and z directions and axis of uh, turn off all axis lines tick marks and labels so after execution of this matlab code here you will get the final result is like this so this is the original image and this is the red channel image for this red channel image we will get that histogram and we are converting this red channel that is the we are converting this original image color image to grayscale image that will be converted to uh, gray image of 8 bits and after that we are making uh, re we are reducing the resolution of the image to 16 by 16 and after that we are uh, using gray slice so we are assigning a, a gray levels two levels so that we will get that two bits that is a 2 to the power of 2 equal to 4 so here we will get that four gray levels and finally here we get that pseudo color image and uh, before this one we have a synthetic image this is there so this is the improved version of that comp computer tomography image so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more matlab tutorial videos please subscribe to my channel open box education